Hello and welcome to the Chapter 2 Numerical Expressions Test Review with Ms. W. Let's get started. Number 1 says to complete the equation and then identify the property shown. So let's see, we have 62 plus 7 plus 41. And then I see an equal sign. That equal sign means that both sides need to be equivalent. So if I have 62, I have 62. I have 7, I have 7. What's missing? Well, 41 is missing. And because we only moved the numbers around, what property is associated with just moving the numbers around and it does not change the value? Well, the commutative property. All right. The next one says complete the equation and identify the property shown. So now I see different groupings, so keep that in mind. I see 66 plus 31 plus 3. On the other side, I see 31 plus 3, and I'm missing something here. So I have 31, 31, 3, and 3. I must be missing the 66. But what property is associated with the grouping? Okay, remember, grouping is the associative property. Okay, so I remember this by people want to associate in groups, okay? Quantitative property is move, okay? It's associating with moving the numbers around. Okay. Very good, all right? Number two says evaluate 35 plus 29 minus 28 divided by two. Wow, that's a lot. So where do we start? I'm going to write PEMDAS and we're going to follow the order of operations. Where do we start? Parentheses. Okay, so yes, we're going to start there. 35 plus 29 is what? Well, 35 plus 29. 9 plus 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're going to carry the 1. 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 more is 6. So now I have 64 minus 28 divided by 2. Now where do I start? Are there any exponents? No. Is there multiplication? No. There's division, so I'm going to do that next. Okay. 28 divided by 2. So let's set up our problem. Goes into 28. 2 goes into 2 one time. Okay. I'm going to bring down the 8. 2 goes into 8 four times. Okay. So I should have 14. And then I have 64. So 64 minus 14. 4 minus 4 is 0. And 6 minus 1 is 5. We should get 50. Very good. Let's move over to this problem. So we have 30 times 42 divided by 3 minus 2. Okay, let's write PEMDAS. Okay. Do we have parentheses? Yes, we do. Okay, so we're going to start there. 3 goes into 42. How many times? 3 goes into 4 once. 3 times 1 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. I'm going to bring down the 2. 3 goes into 12 4 times. Okay, and I'm left with no remainder. So this would be 14. So let's rewrite our expression. 30 times 14 minus 2. Okay, where do I start next? There's no exponents. Is there multiplication? Yes, I want to do that next. Okay, so 30 multiplied by 14. 
Okay, I'm going to use my favorite lattice method to multiply. Okay, 30 multiplied by 14, and you can use whatever method you want. Okay, this is just my favorite. So everything multiplied by 0 is 0, 1 multiplied by 3 is 3, and 4 multiplied by 3 is 12. So now we're going to add them up, 2, and that would be 4. So we have 420 minus 2. Well, 420 minus 2, well, 20 minus 2 would be 18, and I would bring down the 4. Okay, so your final answer is 418. Very good. Let's keep going. Okay, let's look at number 3. Now, number three says, write the words as an expression, then interpret the expression. So interpret means to explain what you're doing, pretty much. You're interpreting it. So you don't necessarily need to solve it. So it says, add, okay, so I know that's addition, add 90 and 95, then multiply by 2. So let's write an expression. 90 plus 95, okay, multiplied by 2. I think that's a great expression. So let's interpret it. Let's see. Well, we would first need to get this value. So I'm going to write the value of the expression, sorry about my handwriting, <laughs> the value of the expression is two times, okay, so we could say two times the sum of 90 and I'm about to put a symbol there, 95. So great. So we have our expression, and then we interpret the expression as the value of the expression is 2 times the sum of 90 and 95. Okay, let's go to this one. It says write the words as an expression, then interpret the expression. So we have the same thing. It says add 73 and 88 then multiply by three. So I would need to do this operation first. So let's create an expression. So we have 73 plus 88, okay? Then multiply it by three. So let's write, okay, our interpretation of this expression. So the same thing, I'm gonna start the same way. So the value of the expression is three times the sum of 73 and 88. Very good. Evaluate. So now we're going to find the value. 10 plus 6 multiplied by 52 minus 29. What do we do first? Well, let's write Pim da so I can follow the order of operations. We have parentheses, so we're going to start there. 10 plus 6 is 16 multiplied by 52 minus 29. Okay, so let's do our steps. So nine is too large to be taken away from two, so I need to borrow. That turns into four, that turns into 12. 12 minus nine is three, four minus two is two. So now I have 23, okay? So I'm gonna do my favorite way to multiply. Okay, I'm going to use the lattice method. Okay, 16 multiplied by 23. Okay, and you can use any 
method that you want. So six times two is 12. Two times one is two. Three times six is 18. And three times one is three. So I have eight. Three plus two is five. Plus one more six. And two plus one is three. So this is 368. Okay, here we go. We just learned this in lesson four of chapter two. So we have brackets and different groupings. So we have brackets and we have parentheses. Where do we start first? Let's write out PEMDAS or GEMDAS, okay, whichever you prefer. And we start with the parentheses. So we're going to cross that off. And we have 15 multiplied by 20. I'm going to do that first. Everything multiplied by zero is zero. So two multiplied by five is 10 and two times one is two. Let's add up our rows here and that should be three. So this is 300 plus 17 and we're still in the brackets minus 58. Don't forget your brackets because then, you know, you might do it out of order. So 300 plus 17 is 317 minus 58. We have 317 minus 58. The seven is too small to take away the eight, so I'm going to borrow. That turns into a zero. That turns into a two. And now that makes that 17. 17 minus eight, that's nine. Okay, and that zero becomes a 10 because we borrowed from the two. Okay, the 10 minus five is five, and we're going to bring that two down. And our final answer is two. 59. Very good. It's a lot of work, but it pays to show your work, right? Let's look at number five. Number five says one teacher, one teacher and 23 students visit a zoo. The teacher pays $12 and each student pays nine. Use the expression 12 plus 23 times nine to find how much money they all pay. All right, so let's write down PEMDAS and let's write down the expression 12 plus 23 times nine. So where do I start? Well, there's no parentheses, there's no exponents, but there is multiplication, so I'm going to start there. 23 multiplied by 9, so multiplied by 9. 9 times 3 is 27, carry the 2. 2 times 9 is 18, plus 2 more is 20. So this would be 207 plus 12. Okay, 207 plus 12. 7, 8, 9, that's 1, and that would be 2. My answer is 219. Number 5. It says a science teacher orders 12 magazines for $11 each. So each magazine is $11. He uses a coupon. So I know when I use coupons, I'm taking money off of that price. Okay, $5 off. And we're going to use this expression. So each magazine, there's 12. They cost $11 each. So we're multiplying and we're subtracting that coupon. So let's go ahead and write PEMDAS. Okay, and our expression, 12 times 11 minus 5. There's no parentheses. There's no exponents. But there is multiplication. So we're going to start there. 12 times 11. Okay, 12 times 11, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1, 
1 times 2 again is 2, and 1 times 1 is 1. Let's add this up. So we have 2, we have 3, oops, 3, and we have 1. So this is 132. We're going to bring down minus 5. So 132 minus 5, 132. Uh, the 2 is too small to take away that 5, so we're going to borrow. That becomes a 2. That is now a 12. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. And then we bring down everything else. And we get 127. Very good.